Hello, dear learner, welcome back to our lessons. Uh, this is paper one of two work, reciprocals. And of course, in this case, I want us to use a table to solve for this value here. Many times you are told to use a, a table and at times you use a, 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 a calculator. But now I will show you how you read through the values and the steps that you follow to be able to solve reciprocal problems like this one. So use reciprocal tables to evaluate. Uh, connect to two decimal places, two decimal places, uh, 10 over 0 0.625 plus 4 over 1.5. There's a difference when you use a calculator uh, compared to that one that has used a table. And that difference must be noted. If somebody is marking for you, the moment they realize that you have used a calculator, then that instruction has not been followed. You lose uh, all the marks. Now, in this case, solution. We write the standard forms of the denominator first. So we shall have 10 over the standard form of 0 0.625 is 6.25 times 10 power negative 1. Then plus 4 over the standard form of 1.5 is 1.5 times 10 power 0. Because you have not moved any step either to the right or to the left. In this one, you moved how many steps? One step. You moved one step to the right. That was a negative. If you move to the left, it becomes a positive. We shall have uh, more examples in this. Now, from there, reciprocal means the denominator goes to become the numerator. And it is multiplied by the numerator. In other words, we will take the values or solve this question by parts. 6.25 is red from the table. So we shall have 10 into brackets. I want to read from my table here. The table of reciprocals. And then I on the x value, on the x value, I am looking for 6.2. And then at the middle, I will look for 5. There is also another column there, but we are not interested in it. 1, 2, 3, 1, like that. So I'm looking for 6.2, then I need 5. The value I'll get there, I will take it as my reciprocal. So uh, when I use my table, I get 0 0.1600. At this point, I have 0 0.1600. And of course, here, 0 0.1600. So I write it here, 0 0.1600 as the reciprocal of 6.25 read from the table. From there, you multiply by, there is also the reciprocal of this. The reciprocal of 10 power negative 1. What happens, you cannot read that from the table. So what you do, you will remove this. Because I told you, 10 power negative 1 or A, power negative 1 can be written as 1 over A. So if it is 1 over power negative 1, A power negative 1, then it will be a, the reciprocal will be A. So what happens when it goes to the numerator, the number power is removed. If it's a negative, it is removed. If it is not there, it is introduced. So we apply that one. So this one, the reciprocal goes to 10 power positive 1. Then we cross and then plus 4 multiplied by 1.5 from the reciprocal tables. Again, you go to the column of x, 1.5. That one will come immediately at zero. 1.5 you need, you get 0 0.6667. Then times the reciprocal of 10 raised to power zero. The reciprocal of 10 raised to power zero. 10 raised to power zero, the concept of any number raised to zero, any number raised to zero is one. So it means this is one. Reciprocal of one is again one. So you are through. This is 10 times this. So 10 times 10 is 100. 10 times 10 is 100 multiplied by 0 0.1600 then plus 
4 times 0 0.6667, you can use your calculator there, you will get times 1, you will get 2.6668. This one is going to be the zeros, the two zeros are going to push the decimal towards that direction, and you shall have 16.00 uh, plus 2.6668. Six, eight. This is the same as 16 plus 2.6668. This one goes to 16 plus 2 is 18.6668. We are yet to finish because we shall obey the aspect of two decimal places and this is four decimal places. But before that, if you want to confirm that you've gotten your, your answer correct, that is after using the table like we have done, you will use your calculator just to confirm whether you got it correct. You press 10 over 0 0.625 plus 5, 4 over 1.5, 1 1.5. The answer you get must be close to this value here. You're going to get 18.666. Eight, sorry, six, six, six recurring. And then, remember there's a small difference. So if you use your calculator to read through, this is the value that you're going to get. But if you use the table, you get a slightly different value. But this one is a confirmation that we are right. Now, obey the question. Two decimal places. The answer that gives you a mark is 18.12. Check on the third. It is more than five. Then it affects the 6 here, shall have 18.67. I emphasize when you are told to use tables, make sure you use the tables and without using your calculators. Unless you're using your calculator to just confirm your work. Keep following me, Wilfred Mumani Bonkangi Hyphen Kyogozi, and see you in our next video.